People say life is all about balance, but in this chaotic universe, everything is in constant flux. Just like how humans have their unique ways of seeking balance in life, the Earth has its unique way too. Today we talk about the Earth's mantra of balance, the equinox. The Earth rotates in its axis that is tilted at an inclination of 23.45 degrees from the plane of the orbit around the Sun, which means that the Southern and the Northern Hemisphere will have different seasons at an instant. As the Earth revolves around the Sun in an elliptical path, there comes a time during the revolution that the plane of the Earth's equator passes through the geometric center of the Sun's disk. This happens twice a year and we term it as equinox. If you go by the literal meaning, equinox is basically the time of the year when the length of the day and length of the night are equal. But wait, are they really equal? Well, in today's video, let's delve deep into the real science. The vernal equinox for 2021 was on March 20th. Now, if you look at the length of the day of March 20th, you will find it around 12 hours and 7 minutes and not exactly to the 12 hours, as was termed by the definition of equinox. So what is the main reason behind this? There are basically two main reasons behind this. The first being the definition of the sunrise and the sunset itself. Sunrise is termed when the upper edge of the disk of the sun is seen on the horizon and not exactly the central part of the disk. Similar definition goes for the sunset, that is, the entire disk of the sun has to be set on the horizon for the sun to be called as sunset, which adds a little more minute to the otherwise 12 hour length of the day for the equinox. The second reason is due to the atmosphere of the earth. The atmosphere refracts the ray of the light from anybody entering the earth. Now the celestial refraction causes the heavenly body to appear higher in the horizon than they actually are. This means when you see the upper edge of the sun during the sunrise, the sun is not there in the horizon yet. And when you see the beautiful sunset, the sun has already set. Yeah, so we don't have 12 hour length of the day on the equinox. But somewhere during the revolution of the earth around the sun, there comes a time when the length of the day equals the length of the night, that is 12 hour each. We actually call that as equinox. Now the equinox for the northern hemisphere where Nepal actually lies, is kind of like a little earlier to the vernal equinox that is few days or even weeks before the vernal equinox or the March equinox and it also comes beyond September equinox few days or weeks later than the September equinox the date for the equinox highly varies according to the latitude too that's all about equinox see you in the next video goodbye